Hey, what's up, guys? Hey, this is going to sound a little bit uh, strange if you've watched a lot of my um, earlier videos on uh, player personalities, professionalism, and stuff like that. But the truth is that it doesn't necessarily mean everything. Let's go take a look here and see what we got. So we've got a pretty good uh, squad here for this league, right? When we go over here to competitions, take a look at the senior league, you can see that we have, ah, looks, look at this. Miley actually is second in goal score to Petu Poli for uh, uh, Viola Tongan, who are in second place and who are eight points behind us. So whatever, I would still say that I would take Maile over him. Um, although it's possible we might be able to pick this guy up. In fact, um, uh, what is he? Yeah, he has um, accepted, I think, a uh, transfer offer from us. Yes, he has agreed to move to Panza. So as you see, again, we win no matter what. Um, but when we take a look over here at Maile, the first thing that you'll notice here is uh, that his uh, personality is fickle which means that he doesn't exactly have the greatest professionalism in the world. This is not a good personality or even one of those sort of like hidden good personalities. This is really not a great one. It's not a great, not a great one for long-term player development. The thing that is helping him the most here is the fact that he has a lot of uh, speed, or especially the quickness acceleration. We don't see what the number is, but it's high enough, and it's better than the other players in the league to the point that um, he is able to just run behind the defense and shoot goals left and right, and that's what counts. Right, And so what I mean by this is that that personality, the professionalism and ratings like that is not everything. The thing that that will influence the most is the way that your player uh, develops. But of course, when you look into player, so yeah, when you look into player progress, he's made very, very little progress on much of anything as time has gone on. He does have this good physical ability, which is the thing that's um, helping him out. It doesn't really matter what the number is. It's all relative anyway. Um, but uh, what we're not seeing is that sort of progress that looks like this that we would see from players who have better professionalism and who are doing uh, much better in training. And so as a result of this, um, even though he uh, is probably not the best player in the league and probably never will be, we can see good performances from him just because of what his raw abilities are like. Uh, what this means is that personality, as important as it may seem, is not everything. Um, I would say one of the things that's really going for him is the fact that he's not totally inconsistent um, and that he doesn't have a whole ton of problems. He's selfish and could work on improving his passing, as I said in the last game. But, you know, that's not necessarily the uh, worst thing in the world. We go take a look at another player. Uh, let's see if I can find him here. Corey Nordy, yeah, another 15-year-old. Unambitious is his personality. This is normally a sort of uh, new gen that I would just totally give up on. And, of course, he doesn't have um, his proper face yet because I had a couple of problems when I was trying to get the uh, uh, new GAN's uh, face pack to work, but that's another story. You can see here again, though, um, he doesn't have the acceleration or quickness, but he's got good technique, fairly good technique here in crossing and passing some good ball control and good shooting technique, and that's what's been helping him out a lot. This is the reason why he's been able to score so many goals and why his uh, stats look like this. It's not because of the tactic. It's because he has some good attributes compared to the other players in the league. He's also extraordinarily inconsistent, but he's been playing well. Now, I'm not sure. This is the first time I've uh, been looking at his progress. Oh, no, his uh, training has gone up a little bit more. Still, with that unambitious personality, you know that he's not going to reach like some crazy, super you know, amazing, height or anything like that but he still is one of the better players in the squad you can see that well maybe when it comes to um the uh, central midfielders um Loke is a little bit better that's why we play Corey Norty usually a little bit further forward probably put him in attacking midfield right where he looks like he is uh, the best player but again unambitious is his personality but it doesn't really matter because his current ability is good enough so that he can compete um in the uh senior leagues right now it depends upon how strong the league is, how strong your competition is, and what the rest of your players are like. That is the most important thing about deciding who to start and who not to start. And so, as a result, when we go over here, we go look at our hierarchy and go look at a whole bunch of uh, these players with their personalities. I don't worry so much about some of these guys, Collins and Atu and others, having really, really poor personalities and ambitious um, Vaile has low determination, right? Low self-belief for Gray. I haven't started him that much, so um, that's probably why he has low self-belief, right? We do definitely want to find these guys who are professional or fairly professional like Walter Assam and try to give them as much time and as much, um, have them be uh, squad leaders to the extent that we possibly can. But it's not everything, right? As much as it's great to have a squad that's going to be, you know, fully professional and we're going to, you know, get the best possible players um, produced and we're going to have a strong influence to improve the professionalism, 
for this kind of squad, that's the sort of thing that's going to come up over time. Also, Fab, Fab Moana is also another one who is uh, fairly professional, and it's going to take a little bit of time for him to become uh, sort of influential enough to really have an impact on the squad. Right? Um, and again, if we look at his progress, it's uh, very, very small. It's only been about a month, so I mean, there's not really that much that we can necessarily say, um, and he's not that uh, young. He's 27 years old, so you would not expect him to make much progress at all. Um, but uh, the truth about this is that when it comes to these personalities and it comes to professionalism and ambition and determination, while it does matter, it only matters to an extent. And so, I mean, if I were in the transfer market in like a real league, not in, you know, amateur league where it's like whatever we can go uh, pick up, you know, as many players as we want, it doesn't really matter. If I were in a real league and we had budgetary issues and I was worried about losing, one of the things I'd recommend doing is looking over at those player personalities, um, since this is the easiest way to see it, we'll go back here, and looking for maybe a guy who is unambitious or has low self-belief or something like that who has um, ratings that stand out, and you can tell stand out because of your experience in the game, right? So um, I don't know. We'll, we'll, we will take a look over here at these uh, upcoming transfers and see if we can find somebody who fits this mold. I don't remember off the top of my head. We can even look at uh, Petu Poili, um, though he's balanced, so it's not the worst thing in the world, right? You can see again, he's got that acceleration quickness and is fairly good at having with heading, which is the important thing. But what I would pay most attention to is not even necessarily consistency or the um, personality, but rather what it is that your scouts are saying. A plus or A here would be a great and excellent signing, and he is a current international, right? That's the sort of thing that you're really, really looking for. If you're looking for players like this and you're wanting to win today, you can get some good deals in Football Manager by sort of ignoring some of the things that are not that great, like the fact that this guy's temperamental, and instead of focusing on the fact that he's a star player who has all of these good attributes and good aspects to his game, and uh, the fact that your scouts are giving him an A+, right? That's what I would recommend doing, especially if your goal is not necessarily to try to build like some sort of real fancy uh, youth setup or try to, you know, create the youth academy or try to get the best young players, you know, with the best personalities to come up. But instead, your goal is to just win today. For us right now, spoiler alert, we really just really want to win. We want to try to get to the Oceania Champions League next year, and we want to make sure that... Um, Sort of is going to take forever. I, I shouldn't have clicked on that. We want to make sure that my in-game personality and that my in-game character um, has as much uh, reputation as possible so that um, and that I develop as much as I can in terms of uh, uh, coaching courses and stuff like that. The reason why we want to do that is because um, that will make it a lot easier for me in-game to go find the next job, to move on to the next place, and to find a team here in Oceania that has an actual chance of winning the Oceania Champions League. While I do believe that Ponce East FC is going to easily win the league this year, I don't think that we have a team that's going to um, compete uh, very well against um, teams from the rest of uh, Oceania. I just don't see that happening. Um, I, I really, really doubt that we're going to go over and play a bunch of uh, professional players from Fiji, and we're going to see like you know this team come through with some sort of like miracle finish, and we're going to dominate everything and all that stuff. I don't think that that's going to happen, right? Um, and so what I'm looking for and what I'm hoping for here, and um, oh, this is interesting. I haven't, this is the first time I've looked at this. What I'm looking for and what I'm hoping for here is uh, to have this reputation increase from the nothing that it's at right now. 5% is not very good. Um, and uh, be able to, you know, get the coaching courses around and be able to start winning some sort of trophies here where it's a little bit earlier on and um, to uh, be able to... Uh, uh, you know, get some people at least somewhat um, interested and uh, somewhat, uh, you know, going after, uh, uh, somewhat interested in going after me, right? And uh, hopefully when uh, we push all of this forward, um, we'll be able to uh, make something happen. We'll be able to um, uh, push the uh, save um, forward as much as it possibly can be. And eventually we'll get away from amateur contract world and we'll get into something where I'm actually being paid in-game currency and then it will become a little bit more interesting. Um, so anyway, that's um, the idea behind this. Again, you want to know kind of what your save is about, and you want to know what your current um, uh, job is at your club. Right now, all we care about is this competition. 
right? If we win this competition that can do good things for this club and we can go to the Oceania Champions League and see how things are, if we get totally, like, creamed at the beginning, it's okay. There's no problem with that. Maybe we could win something, but I kind of doubt it, and I don't think we're going to ever get the sort of players we would need to really compete because, um, in part, because when we scout, we can't scout really outside of our own league, and we're not going to do that. We have no money. Um, But we might be able to figure something out now. If my goal here were to take this team and make them into like a regional power um, and try to get them to win every single year and then get that whatever the Oceania Champions League qualification money is and uh, grow it over time, that would be a different case. That would be a different story. That's not really what the goal here is, though. We're not going to stay here in Oceania forever. We want to uh, play for a little while in America Samoa and then see if we can't move on try to win the Oceania Champions League, and then move over to Africa. So anyway, there you have it. That's what the plan is, and that's why, depending upon what's going on, personality might not matter that much. Talk to you later. Bye.